Why is India spending billions to build a massive barrier on a river? Known as the Polavaram project, this giant barrier is more than just an impressive piece of engineering. It's a solution to critical problems in water management, irrigation and energy supply. Spanning an impressive 3,722 meters, about 12,211 feet, making it third in the world in length, the Polavaram Dam is vastly longer than the Hoover Dam in the United States, which measures 379 meters, 1,244 feet. How is this massive barrier being built? And how is it set to change the lives of millions of people? Time to find out. The Polavaram Dam is nothing short of an engineering marvel. Located in the state of Andhra Pradesh in southern India, the dam is being built on the Godavari River, the second longest river in the country. Standing at 136 feet, about 41.5 meters above sea level, the reservoir has a live storage capacity of 74.16 billion cubic feet, about 2.1 billion cubic meters. The main structure, a 2,310-meter-long dam of earth and rock, supports a massive spillway capable of discharging 4.94 million cubic feet (140,000 cubic meters) per second. One of its key components is the diaphragm wall, which is the first of its kind in India. This wall is 1.5 meters thick, about 5 feet, and extends to depths ranging from 40 to 120 meters. 131 to 394 feet below the riverbed, ensuring stability and controlling seepage. This impressive engineering serves several vital purposes, addressing critical challenges in irrigation, flood control and energy production. One of its primary roles is to provide water to 719,000 acres 2.91 lakh hectares of farmland, ensuring a stable water supply for agriculture. Two main canals distribute this water across the region. The left main canal stretches 181.5 kilometers, about 113 miles, while the right main canal extends 174 kilometers, around 108 miles. Each canal can carry approximately 500 cubic meters of water per second, 17,500 cubic feet per second, equal to 500,000 liters 132,000 gallons of water every second. Another key purpose is hydropower generation. The dam is equipped with 12 Kaplan turbines, each with a capacity of 80 megawatts, delivering a total of 960 megawatts of clean energy to support homes, industries and infrastructure in the region. Beyond these essential functions, the reservoir also opens up opportunities for tourism and navigation. With its scenic surroundings and improved water infrastructure, areas like Papi Kondalu National Park are expected to attract more visitors, supporting local economies and creating jobs. But the Polavaram Dam also stands out for other reasons – its construction time and its price tag. The project was first conceptualized in 1941 with a plan to irrigate 350,000 acres across two crop seasons and generate 40 megawatts of hydropower by harnessing the Godavari River. However, in the decades that followed, the project faced significant delays. India's independence in 1947 and the subsequent reorganization of states shifted priorities to immediate infrastructure needs and nation-building efforts. Political disagreements, environmental concerns and interstate water-sharing conflicts further stalled progress. In 1980, the foundation stone was finally laid, marking a significant milestone. Even so, the project encountered additional delays for decades. It wasn't until 2004 that construction gained real momentum, with an estimated cost of $1.2 billion at the time. As work progressed, however, the project's complexity and prolonged timeline caused costs to rise substantially. So far, $2.49 billion has been spent on the project. At the 2017-18 price level, the revised cost was estimated at $5.66 billion. 
The Polivarum project was granted national status in 2014, ensuring central funding and bringing renewed focus to its completion. As of late 2024, the Polivarum project has entered a critical phase with the construction of a new diaphragm wall, which began in January 2024 and is expected to be completed by November 2025. This wall, spanning 1,396 metres 4,580 feet in length and varying in depth from 10 metres 33 feet to over 90 metres 295 feet, is a key focus for the project's progress. Dewatering efforts in the ECRF Dam Gap 2 are nearing completion. For those unfamiliar, ECRF stands for Earth Cored Rock Fill, a method where the dam's core is built with compacted earth for water resistance, while the surrounding rock layers add strength and stability. This technique balances durability with functionality, making it ideal for large-scale projects like Polivarum. Preparations for cutter panel construction are on track to be ready by early December. Three trench cutters are being brought in, with the first expected to arrive by December 1st. Technical planning continues with recent designs submitted for approval and a workshop involving foreign experts, the Central Water Commission CWC, and the Dam Design Review Panel scheduled for November. The project's timeline offers two possible completion scenarios, July 2027 with parallel construction or March 2028 with sequential construction. However, challenges remain, including pending CWRC approvals technical concerns about concurrent construction activities, and balancing quality with speed. Despite these hurdles, the project is making steady progress toward its long-awaited completion. With over 20 years of ongoing construction, the Polivaram project remains one of India's most ambitious infrastructure undertakings. It continues to require careful coordination to overcome its technical and financial challenges as it moves closer to transforming the region's water management, agriculture and energy sectors. Polavaram isn't alone in its ambition. By looking at other iconic water projects, we can find both inspiration and cautionary lessons. Examples that show what's possible, but also highlight the risks and complexities of taking on such monumental tasks. Take the Hoover Dam, for example. Conceptualized in the early 20th century, construction of this landmark began in 1931 and was completed in just five years by 1936. At the time, it cost $49 million, which, adjusted for inflation, would be about $860 million today. The Hoover Dam didn't just reshape the American Southwest. It provided water and power to millions, created Lake Mead, the largest reservoir in the United States, and brought effective flood control and irrigation solutions to the region. It stands as a powerful example of what can be achieved, even under immense skepticism. Then there's China's Three Gorges Dam, the world's largest hydroelectric power station in terms of installed capacity. First proposed in 1919, the dam's construction started in 1994 and finished in 2012, nearly 90 years after it was initially conceptualized. The dam cost around 203 billion yen, which is approximately $31.8 billion today. It boasts an installed capacity of 22,500 megawatts, making it a cornerstone of China's renewable energy strategy. The dam generates an average of 95 terawatt hours of electricity annually, with a record-breaking output of nearly 112 terawatt hours achieved in 2020 due to heavy monsoon rains. Beyond its energy contribution, the Three Gorges Dam also provides essential flood control, significantly reducing the frequency and severity of flooding along the Yangtze River. Additionally, its reservoir supports irrigation for agricultural lands downstream. However, the project has faced criticism for its environmental and social impacts, including the displacement of over a million people and concerns over sedimentation and ecosystem changes. Despite these challenges, the Three Gorges Dam serves as a benchmark for large-scale, multi-purpose water management projects. 
If you're intrigued by the scale and impact of the Three Gorges Dam, we've got you covered. Check out our dedicated video where we dive deep into how this monumental project works. We've also explored the fascinating engineering behind navigation through such colossal structures. From innovative ship lifts that allow ships to navigate above mountains. Lastly, the Itaipu Dam, shared by Brazil and Paraguay, demonstrates the complexities of international cooperation. Conceptualized in the 1970s and completed in 1991, it took 16 years to build. Originally costing $19.6 billion, the dam's cost today would be about $34 billion. The Itaipu Dam serves multiple purposes, much like Polivarum. It generates a staggering 14,000 megawatts of hydropower, making it the most productive hydroelectric plant in the world. It supplies 90% of Paraguay's electricity and 15% of Brazil's consumption. Additionally, the dam helps control flooding along the Paranara River, ensuring protection for downstream communities. It also supports irrigation in the surrounding agricultural areas, contributing to regional food security. However, like Polivarum, it required relocating thousands of people, highlighting the social challenges that accompany such ambitious projects. These examples show that even the most successful large-scale water management projects come with significant challenges, from environmental concerns to the displacement of communities. The Polivarum project is no exception. While its goals of irrigation, flood control and hydropower are ambitious, the journey has been marked by controversies and obstacles that highlight the complexities of turning such a vision into reality. One of the biggest issues is that construction and development will ultimately displace nearly 44,570 families and 276 villages. For these communities, the dam represents a threat to their homes, livelihoods and cultural heritage. Debates over resettlement and rehabilitation have been intense, with many arguing that the compensation offered does not adequately reflect the sacrifices being made. Environmental concerns are also prominent. The project is expected to submerge large areas, including parts of the Papi Kondalu National Park, leading to potential disruptions in ecosystems and a loss of biodiversity. Legal disputes have further complicated progress. States like Odisha and Chhattisgarh have approached the Supreme Court of India, expressing concerns about potential water shortages, increased flooding and ecological damage resulting from the dam's construction. These challenges have contributed to the project's prolonged timeline, spanning nearly eight decades. Current projections suggest that the Polivarum Dam may become operational by 2029. If completed, the Polivarum Dam could transform agriculture, energy and flood control in the region. But what do you think? Will the Polivarum Dam finally become a reality in the next five years? Please share your thoughts in the comments below. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed it, please consider subscribing to our channel for more Mega Build stories. See you in the next story.